Enhanced safe management measures will be implemented at Singapore's two fish distribution hubs in the wake of a COVID-19 outbreak at Jurong Fishery Port. Close to 930 cases have been linked to the cluster since the 16th of July, but the tougher rules could affect business, as Natasha Razak finds out. Mandatory testing for those entering the two ports and restricted access to the marketplace, including limiting the number of seafood traders within the premises at any time. These are among new measures that will be put in place at Sinoco and Jurong Fishery ports. To reduce intermingling, the Singapore Food Agency says tenants and workers will be segregated. They'll have separate toilet facilities as well as meal and smoking areas. Over at the unloading area, part workers will need to keep their distance from the foreign crew as they unload the goods. As larger fishing vessels tend to offload at Jurong Fishery Port, dedicated workers will operate forklifts within the wharf area. They'll move seafood from the vessels to the gates for collection by fishery port workers. All unloading activities will be supervised and monitored via closed-circuit television. Fish containers will be disinfected before collection. Sustainability and the Environment Minister Grace Fu urged stakeholders to observe the measures during a visit to Senoko Fishery Port. A cluster here will inundate the facility and it will also uh, possibly put our community at risk. This is actually a collective responsibility. The safety and the public health cannot be just the role of the government or the enforcement officer. At least one association representing 25 merchants at the port says the enhanced measures could slow down operations by about 20%. It's a time taken to, to offload and uh, you know, to sanitise the, 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 the shipment before we get to push the, or collect our, our stock. So I think this is the more time-consuming part. And of course, the, now they divide the whole market into different sections. And uh, because of all this barricade, we have to go one big round to the entrance and exit to, just to collect the fish. Another, who represents merchants at Jurong Fishery Port, says mandatory testing will also mean longer wait times. We do have to do regular swap tests on a weekly basis for merchants as well as fishmongers coming in, into the port. So I think that itself would cause some waiting time for merchants and customers as well coming into the port. Jurong Fishery Port has undergone two rounds of deep cleaning since it was closed on 17 July. It will reopen on Saturday.